hi welcome back to my channel well in this video i will be uh, doing a demonstration regarding a very important design rather one of the famous or widely used design in agricultural sciences and forestry that is known as randomized complete block design uh, i'll be doing this uh, analysis of this rcbd design in R Studio, utilizing a very important library that is known as agro r which is available freely on cran and you here you can see the description of this library this library uh, is uh, authored by gabriel and semizu and here you can perform all single factor as well as uh, factorial experiments uh, with some good statistical details and you can also check the various kinds of assumptions which are very much required as far as the analysis of these uh, designs are concerned since as far as this rcbd is concerned it belongs to the category of uh, complete block designs or we can uh, say it is under the umbrella of single factor experiments so in order to proceed the first step is to recall the library for that we'll be uh, typing the name of this library that is library agro uh, then press on the enter then the next step is to import the data set uh, we will import the data set first uh, from this uh, function or we can see uh, here you you can just click on this excel since my data set is in excel form so i will see where my data set is it is available on uh, my desktop the name of my file is rcbd uh, it is in excel format then click on this open then will be having our data set so we have our data set then press or click on this import so we have a data set here you can see we have uh, almost not almost we have nine treatments and they are being adjusted into three blocks and we have some variables height tree volume stock cuts coin girth chlorophyll and we have of course yield so we have so many variables uh, so the next step is once we have imported uh, this uh, data set the next step is what we are going to do is to attach this data set by using this function attach rcbd which is the name of my data set then the next step is uh, after attaching the data set what we will do we will see what are the labels of my data set by simply seeing the names rcbd or we can sometimes use this option also view although this is not required because our data is already imported we can just type this by this means we can also view the data set or we can see the structure of the data set also uh, by typing rcbd okay so we have a uh, treatments uh, which are three in uh, almost nine in number blocks we have three blocks and we have different uh, variables now let us first explore the data set utilizing two important libraries that is data explorer and library summary tools let us uh, click on this run then i want to create a report for my data set the name of my data set is rcbd You'll be having a wonderful data visualization not data or data exploration or you can say the exploratory data analysis uh, if you are interested to get the good uh, statistical details or summary details this function by means of library data explorer is highly recommended then we will press on the center then we'll be having a report in an html format and uh, a lot of information with a one click you will get before uh, doing performing the main analysis of variance of this designs uh, i think this uh, library data explorer as well as summary tools i recommend this to each and every person uh, whosoever is in so we will be having a this kind of a report or data profiling report where you can see the rows are 27 columns are 16 discrete variables are two because one is treatment and another one is column uh, sorry blocks we have uh, 14 continuous columns not a single missing observations we have complete 27 rows the total number of observations is 432 and memory allocation a good important thing is about we have 8 kbs of memory allocation and here you can see uh, these blue lines represents these red line represents the columns and these blue represents the rows and uh, there is no not a single missing observation a wonderful data profiling report here you can see we have 27 observations and 16 variables 
and uh, these are the, all the variables including both continuous and discrete variables then uh, you can see the band of this data profile is good because we don't have any missing observation then you can see the univariate histograms for each and every variable then the bar charts then the qq plots by which you can test whether our data is normal or not you can see all these variables seems to be normally distributed and we have a wonderful correlation plot or among the variables in with the treatments and one more thing we have principal compound analysis also here so within one click you can see what kind of data profiling you can do by means of data explorer library uh, so moving ahead the next step is to use another function which is also very important that is to use this exp numstat which is the part of the summary tools here you can get the basic descriptive statistics which includes this is only for the numerical values but for a data explorer you can get the variables or uh, data profiling including both uh, those uh, categorical variables also now the important thing is in case of rcpd uh, to use this function dbc which is the default function followed by the variable which is to be evaluated that is treatments then the blocking variable which is actually doing the local control uh, which is due to the involvement of this uh, local control principle then our response variable since the first one is height let us use this and then ham comp to perform the post hoc analysis and here will be doing this least significant difference then comma on y lab will be having a plot also and uh, suppose we will label it like it height h e i g e i g h t height in say suppose in centimeters then we will press on the center button so we don't have block we have blocks rather since it is case sensitive so we have the results along with this plot let us see what we have in output we have first the normality of errors which is tested by shapiro will test and we have a non-significant p-value that means we have an evidence our data is normally distributed because it assumes a null hypothesis that the errors are normally distributed and same is the case with homogeneity of variances this is also a non-significant value again there's an existence of homogeneity of variance and there is non-existence of correlation among the consecutive error terms so all these three assumptions that means our residuals are normally independently and identically distributed the additional information is that the coefficient of variation is quite low and uh, we have a overall general mean we can say that is 4.9 and there are no discrepant points or no, there is no possible outliers the treatments are 9 that is why we have a degrees of freedom of uh, 8 the blocks were 3 that is why the degrees of freedom is uh, 2 and the residuals you know it is r minus 1 into t minus 1 that is uh, 8 multiplied 2 is 16 so we have a significant p value for both treatments and blocks and in blo in case of RCVD, our block effect should be quite significant otherwise if it is non significant that means we have not done the proper blocking or the material might be homogeneous but in this case we have a significant p value for the blocking effect so we are good to go and another important thing we have a significant p value uh, for treatments also that means all these treatments are significantly different as the calculated p-value it is less than uh, five percent that means the hypothesis null hypothesis equality of means is rejected therefore at least two means differ so in order to see which of the pairs of, of the treatments among these nine treatments are significant you can see we have some superscripts and all these means which are having similar uh, letters they are found to be non-significant you can see all these uh, means or treatment means have got different uh, labels so all these are significantly different uh, which is uh, quite indicative from this plot also so this library is highly recommended to each and every person who is interested uh, to perform uh, this uh, design uh, along with the assumptions which are very much required for uh, doing the analysis because it utilized uh, the analysis of variance and for that these assumptions are very required and if you want to perform uh, the analysis of another variable simply since our second variable is tree volume we will simply write here uh, tree dot volume and here we can change it up to say for example 
cubic u big centimeter whatever this is your choice it depends upon what kind of variable or the units in your variables are now I'll click on this run so we'll be having the results for another variable so you can see uh, same uh, is the case again we have good normality assumption the normality assumption is not violated neither the homogeneity of variances neither the independence of errors and uh, you can see uh, we have significant values for both treatments and blocks and we have uh, all these treatments are significantly different from which are quite indicative by these labels as well as these plots so similarly we can perform the analysis for other variables also one by one so this is a very wonderful uh, library or package and uh, this is highly recommended for all those students all those uh, scholars who are doing masters or doctorate in agricultural sciences or uh, forestry uh, in next video i'll be performing the or showing a demonstration regarding the factorial experiments utilizing uh, this agro or library thank you very much if you have any questions or comments you can post on the comment section below thank you